Hi, I'm Dennis Vigneri, President and CEO of Kenosha Beef and Birchwood Foods. My family's company makes many of the burgers that you typically eat in restaurants every day around the country. Come on along with me and we'll take a tour of the plant to see how ground beef and burgers are made. Basic building blocks of burgers are beef trimmings, which are pieces that are trimmed of larger cuts of beef like tenderloins, roasts, and etc. Trimmings are often too small to be sold on their own, but are excellent for ground beef. We receive boxes of trimmings shipped from meat plants who do the harvesting, cutting, and sectioning of the carcasses into smaller cuts. The trimmings are tested before they come to our plant and won't be accepted if they don't test negative for pathogenic E. coli. The trimmings are physically inspected and then put into an initial coarse grinder. Much like you do at home, our beef is ground multiple times. After the initial grinding, the beef is analyzed for its lean to fat ratio. When you buy 80% lean beef at the grocery store, it's because we've specifically mixed the leaner and fattier beef together to create a lean to fat ratio consumers enjoy. Then the beef is ground once again. At this point, you should recognize it as the ground beef you find in your grocery store. Since we're sending our ground beef to restaurants, we send it through a separate machine to form and shape the patties, as well as stack them together for shipping. One of the keys to producing safe and wholesome meat products is following strict sanitation. Our plant is cleaned for a full eight hour shift each day. We then swab equipment to ensure that it's clean. We also wear hygienic clothing like these frocks and hairnets in the plants. And in addition, our employees wash their hands continuously throughout the day. Our plant is monitored by USDA inspectors each and every day we're open to ensure that our products are produced according to strict federal rules. Here at Kenosha Beef, we produce about 10 million pounds of beef per week. That's enough to feed approximately 40 million people per week. The burgers are packed and boxed, but aren't sent out of the plant until we test the products in our lab to ensure they meet our customer specifications. And that's how burgers are made. We do it on a much larger scale, but otherwise it's the same as what you might do at home.